Welcome to update number eight to installing a, an atomic four in a small boat, small homemade wooden boat. Basically going to report on uh, completion of four jobs and basically update where I'm at right now. We'll get down from here so go over and show. Also completed the oak uh, cover. These are oak uh, oak planks. Uh, I just basically took the planks and uh, joined them together and cut it to size and then installed this uh, this treated lumber uh, lip all the way around it and that will lap over the edge of this part right here. So those are two of the jobs. Third job was uh, uh, filling in all around the uh, the idea is to make this thing self bailing and so all the uh, the equipment, the equipment area here, and also down in the bilges, all have to, uh, rainwater can't get in there. And I seal that up with this. I don't know what it's uh, what it's called, but they use it when they make stitch and glue uh, boats. It's basically epoxy mixed with uh, fine sawdust. Um, I've been using it uh, for years, and I'll tell you, it's some wonderful stuff. It's workable, hard, it sticks to anything. Um, you basically just fill in any cracks and anything you want to stick together, and you can then sand it down, and uh, it's wonderful. Build up all the screw holes. With the exception of the screw holes back here in the back, uh, I've designed this so this this panel here is removable. So on the off chance that I ever need to crank, hand crank the engine, I can my crank will uh, will fit in there. So this back panel is removable. So I've been uh, completely sealed all the way around the lip. Uh, all the way around and, and one of my next jobs will be to uh, actually sand that down. And then the final job was the installation of a shifting mechanism. Uh, the, the actual shift rod is for the motor is you can see it. You can see it right there. And of course, it's up underneath the console. So I basically attached a piece of bar steel right there. Uh, then this angle, this uh, heavy-duty angle brace right, right here. Attach that to a bronze propeller shaft. made a bearing out of some galvanized pipe and then beat a piece of steel uh, to hold the whole thing in place and then I worked up this uh, and I worked up this shifting handle out of some laminated oak and now, I don't know if you can see it, but uh, push it, push it forward, and that takes it it's out of gear. Push it all the way down, and that puts it in reverse. When you lift it up, hear it click right there. That's in in gear. So. Uh, Pretty good progress. Next thing I'll be doing is sanding down that uh, 
that filler and I'm uh, probably going to wait on putting the seat in until I get all the sanding and painting done because I don't want that seat in the way. Another job I, ha I need to do is the bimini. I intend to take the bimini top and move the attachment points the attachment points right here I'm going to move them back to about uh, in this area right here which is about 18 inches uh, move that whole bimini back a little bit and probably the last uh, job I'll be doing after I get it painted is to install the uh, install the gauges so that's the uh, that's the update Pretty good progress. Uh, won't be too long, and I'll have this bad boy in the water. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you in update number nine.